This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakwa Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakwa Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakwa is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakwa is teaching on the subject titled, Financial Mistakes. Today, he speaks about the mistake of bad company and how it makes people poor. Let's join him. Wrong company. Somebody said when you move with dogs, you catch ticks or fleas. He that walketh with wise men shall be one. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. In other words, if you were wise, and you started working with fools, very soon you become a fool. If you were a fool and you start moving with the wise, very soon you will become wise. So the company you keep would also determine your final de financial destiny. There are some people they are headed nowhere. If you follow them, they will infect you with their disease. Look at the prodigal son. The financial status of the prodigal son was always determined by his company. His father was a rich man. And as he was camping in his father's house and working with his father, he became a rich man. Luke 15, 11, a certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth unto me and he divided unto them his living. Here he was with his father. When he was his father, he was a successful person. In fact, when he asked for his inheritance, he actually had a lot of money because the company that he kept shaped his behavior, his thoughts, his attitude, the way he used time, where he went, the things he did, it shaped him. But then he changed company. Wow. Who did he move with? He said, As soon as this thy son is come, which has devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. He started with, with useless people in town. This message will continue after this short message. What do you do when you dream of a successful job, marriage, or ministry gets shattered? The Bible says, God himself, he created a beautiful world, but his dreams were broken. Kakrabating in this message titled, Mending Broken Dreams, outlines some useful guidelines that will show you how to mend your broken dreams and experience a peaceful and joyful life. Ponder this message series through the following means. Welcome back. Luke 15, 13. The younger son gathered all together, took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. 14. When he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. He began to be in one. 15. He made a friend. Look at that friend. He went and joined himself to a citizen of that country who sent him into his fields to feed swine. He made friends with somebody who was looking after pigs. So a royal like this, his job changed. He too started moving and working with pigs. But it became worse. I think the man left. Now he was left with the pigs. So the pigs now became his friend. Now he will, he will fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Very soon, it wasn't long, he was eating with the pigs. He started descending from his father to the useless people in town, to this guy who keeps swine, to the swine themselves. <laughs> and everywhere he went, he started behaving like those people. Let me tell you something. Don't just make friends. There are some people, if they are your friends, you will never prosper. Because they will not give you even one good suggestion. 
So sometimes, if you are poor, check your friends. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm checking you out. Company. That's a great financial mistake. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that your company affects you and the wrong company can actually cause you to become poor. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. A new job. Dear Kakra, I sent you a message requesting for prayer for my husband who needed a breakthrough in order to secure a good job. We replied with a prayer. By God's grace, he has received two offers and is confused which one to pick. What a blessing. May God bless you. Spend your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full lunch message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.